the only one who can see us after class. That sucks. I understood, but you know, you just surprised me a little. I don't know. You guys, you know, in uni now, you there's many things you want to do with your lives. I just have work. I don't know how long until. Until we won't see each other again. <laughs> Ria, not getting rid of us that easily. I don't know. I just got to see you guys so often after high school. And I don't want to lose that now. Well, it's it's been a week, right? The others are coming. They'll be okay. Whether we see each other every week or not, you're not that far away. Right? right? Only your side, remember? Yeah, yeah, you suck. God knows why Ollie keeps you around. Well, charming wit, charismatic banter, good looks. Insufferable. Picks one another one. Thank you, though, you so well. Some things won't change. Good. Some things change. Sorry, I'm sorry I'm getting away now. I see you across the path. I'll be on my way. How to adjust from high school to university. Take a look at what has worked in the past for you. Strategies to deal with change will often. Remember that new environments can be gritty, but they can be just as exciting as they are daunting. Changing in environments. How to move on from high school. Keep in mind that your whole future is in front of you. It should be the important everything you want to. Do high school relationships last at university? Many times, relationships end within the first six months to a year after starting it. I'm sorry your group assessment sucks already. I really hope it wouldn't be as bad as you hear. I thumbs up my grades so far, yeah. Is it? No, no, I just wish it wasn't. You just have to enjoy yourself. It'll get better after this, I'm sure. Hey guys. Hey. Uh, no rear today? Got called into work this morning. Said they needed the extra cash to pay to go out for their birthday. Oh, but it's not coming? No, he said he was busy. Uh, yeah, um, he's been... Pretty stressful time with the lectures and assessments. Um, plus, I think there was another event you wanted to go to. Another one? Yeah. Oh boy, growing up, making new friends. <laughs> you are alone. Some of us have classmates that don't suck already. Let them have it. I don't have you. I'm fine. <laughs> I take it law isn't particularly excitable. It's probably enjoyable for someone that isn't me. How's your classes? Yeah, English is still English. It's fine. I like it. Will we get to read your writing at some point? When I have something to write about, I feel a little bit brain dead at the moment. Let me saw it, Angie. Tell me how much you love me. If I could get a single word out, I almost would. <laughs> would studying together help? Maybe. We could try. If you have work to do? <laughs> Always. Great. I have to go grab my laptop from my car. I'll be back. Through all this again. It was like three classes. A little less pricey than the floor of the library. Gideon. What's up? How are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm sitting out here in the sunshine with all my best friends. Everything's great. Talk to me. I am. So, Oliver didn't tell you he wasn't coming? 
know and he he doesn't need to i'm his boyfriend not his personal assistant it's it's just not like him you're used to relying on each other maybe it's good to remember that he can do things on his own of course of course i never wanted him to feel like he can't of course it, it's i'm just surprised that's on me well it's good to know you can still surprise each other so speaking of relying on each other i what where does mm -hmm. oh, shut up okay so you've Progressed since New Year's, you've admitted that you're <laughs> head over heels for her. I am not admitting to anything. <clears throat> you know that she's... I know. And? Nothing. I'm not changing anything. I, I care about it too much to change anything. Okay. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> changing how it is. Fuck you. I know. And the boys may and me aren't going anywhere either. <laughs> yeah. So, in lieu of a park meetup, how do we feel about drinking our place tonight? We're only 18 for a few more months. If you're going to crash at ours, you're the welcome. Yeah, I'm down. I would love to not think about my first trip by Oliver? Oh, um, yeah, I'll be there. I'll have to leave early by I class in the morning. Boo! Let him be responsible. It's the Oliver we love. I'll be doing the same part of you. I just got lucky with my time team. Any requests for drinks? Anything but watermelon cruises. Still can't? Give me anything, babe. I trust you. I got you. You are a blessing, Naomi. My, can I come visit you before my lecture starts? Are you near where my tutor is? Oh, thank you. Oh, hey. Uh, we'll talk to you all later. Well, I'm going back to studying. If they're leaving, I'll see you all tonight, yeah? At least our schedules line up some of the time. Um, my break ends. Relationships and that sort of thing. That's self 
right? It's cruel, that's not cruel or selfish, our relationship changing doesn't depend on just one person. And if I know that, Naomi, just because you think you know how she feels does not mean you're obligated to do anything. You know too? Well, I have had my suspicions and I could have guessed by your words. But you're Angelica's best friend. Aren't you supposed to, what, prioritize one of you over the other? Just because I live with Ange doesn't mean I'm going to pick her over you. I love you both. What do you want? In general, with Ange. I don't know. I want something more. Well, then that much is on you if you want it. You need to talk to her. But it's not just her, though. Our whole group will change. Already, Gideon and Oliver, plus... You don't want me to be the fifth wheel. I don't want you to feel like that. All right. Here's something I had to tell myself over and over again until I believed it. Romantic relationships do not have to be more important than platonic. End of. Just because my four friends happen to both be in relationships with each other does not change my relationship with them. Everyone seems to prioritize romantic relationships and I don't get it, but I will never have a relationship that's more important than you guys. You're everything to me. But if it falls apart, if we things change and we lose that friendship, you, you can't be anticipating it falling apart before you even get there. If you think you'd be happy together, then you deserve to be. I owe her at least that. Well, you don't owe her anything, but you should just talk to her and tell her where you're at. Thanks, Rhea. You're the smartest of us. If I have to talk you all down from a million different precipices of anxiety, I will. You guys are all I have. Well, we're sticking around. We're not going anywhere. Good. Tell yourself that too. <laughs> All right. Hey, Rosa. How are you doing? I'm good. Class is good. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, assessments are fine. How's school? How's home? How's work? You and Jesse settling okay? How about Sydney? I'm glad. How's that doing with the house? I miss you too, <laughs> the kid. No, I'm fine. Just some writer's block. Nothing I haven't dealt with before. Yeah, all of us around too. He's good. It's stupid. I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Of course we're fine. Why wouldn't we be? It's just that writing is the easiest way I have to feel better, to let things out. It feels like I've lost it right when I've just started. Well, when we next have time, I'll get him to call you too. I didn't realize you miss it more than your own brother. Well, you can see us soon. You have to visit eventually. Right at my place from me. Okay. Can't hurt. I can try. Thanks, Mama. I love you too. See you soon. Bye! Hey, um, Oliver's calling me. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon, alright? Love you. Hey, what's up? I thought you were. Hi, Gideon. Is everything alright? I'm actually drunk, so that's okay. So I, I take it the party was good then? Better than the two parties we went to in high school. Better than high school. Are you sure everything's alright? Everything is so much better than high school. Everyone says so. I'm, I'm glad things are better than something... something How many last plus graduation? How oh, many what? High school relationships. Did you know that it's only 2%? I do! Where are you, Ollie? Hi. Hey, what happened? It's been a long week. Yeah, it's been a long week is what you say when you fall asleep during a movie night, not when you're quoting statistics about relationships at me. Tired, Gideon. Of what? Of me? Of us? 
then say something, tell me, then we can actually talk about it. Don't be vague, don't keep avoiding me. Okay. Did you know that I have been swimming in doubts that anything I enjoyed in high school was lost? Friends, hobbies, us, it's been all I can think about. I, I knew you were worried about things changing. We all were. It's only been a month of uni. How am I supposed to know where it is at if you, you, know, you don't tell me? I thought I just needed some time, some reminder that I could have what I loved and have to be someone new, but I feel like I'm being forced to choose. <laughs> being forced to? What's, what's making you think you can't both? When have I ever gotten both? I have always been made to choose. Friends or family, good marks or subjects I enjoyed, my mother's approval. What I want. I am surrounded by people who are so glad that they're away from high school, who talk about it like it was this crushing weight they couldn't wait to cut off, but I found our friends, I fell in love with you, all in high school. And a part of me can't help but love those parts. But is that all I get? Did I peak in high school and that's it? Is everything new I try destined to be some big deal to you? Am I forever stuck as the person I was there? Is that who I'm meant to be to you? Oliver, you don't have to be anyone to me. I, I love you. You're one of my best friends, the man I love, and who I want to see succeed in this world. I love the person you've always been. <laughs> uh, but if, if you think you have to be someone new at uni, then be someone new. If you have to move on and leave us all behind, then go ahead. It's your choice, no, no one's stopping you. We used to be able to read each other's minds with a look. Remember that? Being 13 and just knowing what the other was thinking. We're not 13 anymore. I, I don't know what you're thinking. You can break up with me if you want. What? If you don't what? know me anymore, if it's too hard. Okay, you said you're tired, you're drunk. Please, let's just get some rest and talk in the morning, right? <laughs> Properly talk. Yeah, okay? I'm drunk, that's all this is. Oh, Thanks, wait. Gideon. Oh, wait, Oliver, please don't. Don't! Do Follow me!
one step ahead of time with them. And I will sit by. Talking of petals and flowers burned by my feet and my way. My heart will wait for a press one way or another. And it will smile at any indication of affection in my direction. my writing. Okay. Ange, this is really good. Yeah? Yeah, I've mixed your writing so much. I'd like to learn more help. Changing things up. Do you have a um, Ollie's joining us today? I hope so. You should show Naomi. She really likes your writing as well. Just an argument. But did you not speak in two days later? Talk to us. I've been in my head about me trying to be someone new and be whatever you guys expect me to be. And it just kind of came to a head with Gideon. I wasn't really listening, but then he said something not knowing me anymore, not understanding what I was saying because I couldn't get it out, and I told him he could break up with me if he wants. Oliver, it just feels like so much. I love you, but... No, but <laughs> you have to talk to him. I don't know what to say. You just have to start. I don't know where to go from here. I don't know where we stand. All you can do is figure it out. Because without talking, it's only going to make it worse. I don't know. If he hates me. He doesn't. I just need to talk to him. What if he does want to break up? Then he needs to tell you that. But listen to me. You are allowed to be whoever you want to talk to us. And no one has the permission to change who that is. How about I text him now and we'll wait with you to do Couldn't change. I never wanted to be someone who was in your way. You're not. I don't blame you for what I thought it would make. I don't know who 
meant to be. Well, I've I've known you for far too long. I've I've seen you change far too much. To think that there's you know there's any one person you're meant to be. I I love you, Oliver, and I want to be with you. Right through it all. I'm worried I might spiral again. I'll be here. I'll be clear. We'll figure it out. Okay. Is that enough now? I think so. What's that um, stupid T.S. Eliot line about the, the coffee? For I've known them all already. Known them all. For I've known the mornings, evenings, afternoons. I've measured my life out with coffee spoons. I know the voices dying with the dying fall beneath the music from a farther room. So, how should I presume? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, alright, that. Um, the measuring coffee spoons. Sounds about right. Thank <laughs> you. 